Okay, now the piston's back in the four-wheeler. We got the cylinder cleaned up, ready. Put our new O-ring in. Uh, if you look, there's oil. I put some engine lube oil in here, so wipe a good film of it around, coat the cylinder, so when we go together, it helps aid with the rings. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna put the cylinder on now. Okay, we got the cylinder put in, got the piston installed, everything went well. We're going to make sure that all our dowel pins are aligned. We're going to put our O-ring in and then we'll be able to go ahead and start putting it in place and torquing some bolts. Alright, we got the O-ring in, got the little retainer, O-ring retainer in. Should be ready now, we'll set the cylinder down. Okay, we got the piston in, everything looks good. Got the new base gasket installed. We turned the engine over a few times by hand with a pull start and uh, Everything rolled over nice and freely and smoothly. Things good so far. Alright, now that the cylinder and piston is all installed in the, in the bike, we're going to move to the head. We're going to take and set the exhaust and intake valves according to the manufacturer on the cam. And uh, we'll be using some feeder gauges and we'll set these valves. It's easier to set them on the bench now than it is when the head's in the bike. Alright, we got the cylinder on, put the other cam chain guide, installed it at the bottom of the crank, got the new head gasket, got the o-ring installed, or two head alignment pins. Be sure when you put the head gasket on to clean both surfaces of the head and the cylinder, make sure there's no oil and grease that can come in contact to your um, head gasket. Next, we're going to put the head on. All right, now we get the head back on. We're going to turn our focus to the head bolts. Um, here's our head bolts. This is what we're going to put in next. Uh, there's two more that go along with it. Well, these guys here, I always put some uh, oil on the threads and uh, check all your gasket alignments and start your bolts and torque them down to the manufacturer recommendation. All right, now we got the cylinder on, got all the head bolts torqued. I went ahead and installed the cam gear, uh, put a white line on the gear itself just to give you an idea of where the timing marks are. This timing mark will line up with this tab right here on top of the cylinder head. Make sure that you're on the uh, compression stroke when you do this. If you're not, you're going to be 180 degrees off on your timing. Look down in the time and port mark and you should see on the fly where it says T there's a tab also on the block that uh, the T lines up on you'll see it when you take the plug out make sure that T is showing and then make sure that your line on your gear is in line with the tab on top of the cylinder when you have this you're in time <laughs> 